Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to extract, save, and upload into Cricut your digital download purchased from Etsy using your PC. Right now, I'm in Etsy at the file download screen. If you need help getting to this point, see my video linked in the description below this video for step-by-step -step instructions on how to download a digital file from Etsy. So let's get started. We're going to select the download button to download this digital file that we purchased from Etsy. And down in the left hand corner, you see the zip file pops up. So click on that little pop up and it'll come up. And the quickest, this is what's inside the zip file that you just purchased. The quickest way to open and save the zip file is to come up to this button right here and select extract all. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to browse and find the folder that you want to save it in on your computer. So I'm going to want to save this to my desktop and I have a folder set up for Etsy downloads. I'm going to select this folder. And this show extracted files when complete. It just pops up and shows you the files if that's clicked. It doesn't matter if it's clicked or unclicked, it's just a matter of preference. For this case, I'm going to unclick it, and I'm going to extract. And now my zip files will all be unzipped, and they will be in that folder that I just sent them to. So now what we can do is we can open up Cricut, and I'm on a blank canvas new project. And what I want to do now is I want to get pull that file that we just extracted, downloaded from Etsy, pull it into Cricut so we can make a project with it. So come over here to the Upload button, and then come over to Upload Image. And then you're going to want to browse, and you're going to want to find that file that you just saved. So browse to the same folder that you saved it in. And mine is right here, Desktop, Etsy Downloads. And here are the files that we just extracted. So what you'll want to make sure you do is pull in the SVG file. If you usually zip files come with a lot of different options of files, depending on what software cutting machine um, the customers are using. But you always want to find that SVG works well with Cricut. And when I sell my files, I always name the beginning of the file with SVG. So it's really easy to find. So I'm going to pull in the SVG file. And there's my image. And another way to check and make sure you have the right file, if it's an SVG file, you're going to see this cut image right here. If it's not and you've pulled in a PNG file or a different type of file, this is what you're going to see. So you know if you get a screen that looks like that, dump that file, start over again, go back out and find your SVG file. So we have the correct file. I'm going to come down over here and I'm going to hit the upload button. And then I'm going to select my upload. You can tell it's selected as this little green outline around it. And then I'm going to come over here in the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to add that image to my canvas. And there's my image. It's ready to be cut. Resize it to whatever size you want it. Make any adjustments you need to make to it. And then when you're ready, Come over to make it, and there you go. You're ready to send it to your Cricut and create your project. Thanks for watching, and happy creating.